I love flower gardens. When planted properly, they can provide color all season long. And not just color, but texture and fragrance. And if you add just the right plants, they can even attract wildlife like this garden that's designed to attract butterflies. That's right, Roger. We wanted to put a butterfly garden here at the entrance to our visitor center so that people could enjoy not just the flowers, but the beautiful butterflies that come to visit it. So if a homeowner wanted to have a butterfly garden like this, how would they get started? Well, if they want to get the butterflies, they have to start with the caterpillars. So caterpillars eat very different foods from the adult butterflies. A lot of them eat trees and grasses, and things that we might consider to be weeds. So about 30 feet from our butterfly garden, we've planted an area for caterpillars. We call them their host plants. And this is a spice bush. This is a host plant for spice bush swallowtails. So we should look around, and if we're lucky, we might find a caterpillar. Look, there's one right there. Now over here, we have another type of host plant, which is a cherry tree. So this is a caterpillar of a cecropia moth. And he's probably about three weeks old. When he was first hatched, he was just a tiny, fuzzy, black caterpillar. And now look at him today. He's come a long way. Look at the yellows and blues and red. He's almost iridescent. He kind of looks like somebody just painted those colors on, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, he's not done feeding yet. He's going to keep eating until he's about four inches long. And when he decides that he is big enough, he's going to turn into a pupa. Now, moths will spin cocoons just like this and maybe wrap themselves in some leaves. He'll stay in there for a few months and all through the winter, nice long winter's nap, and then he'll hatch out in June. Now, butterflies do things differently. Butterflies make chrysalis, and what they do is they shed their last caterpillar skin. Underneath it's soft, but it hardens into a protective shell, and they spend their time changing into adults inside that shell. Adult butterflies don't eat leaves. They drink nectar from flowers. And if you want to have butterflies all season long, it's important to have flowers that are blooming all season long. So a successful garden will have a sequence of flowers, so there's always something there from the feed on. Absolutely. At the very beginning of the season, things like chives and sage and even dandelions are good. Dandelions are good. Absolutely. <laughs> They're a great butterfly plant, a weed by any other name. Later in the season, we have things like this common milkweed, which is a great nectar plant, but it's also an important host plant for monarch caterpillars. And we also have over here, echinacea, also called coneflower. And look, there's a fritillary. Look at them go. Yeah. That one over there, it's a cabbage white. Any significance to the two black dots? Well, the two black dots means that it's a female. If it just has one black dot, then it's a male. Now, I noticed rather than plant individual plants, you've planted in big groups or clusters. We have, and that helps the butterflies find their target flowers, gives them a bigger target to hit. So over here, for example, we have a nice cluster of flocks. And look, there's a tiger swallowtail. The tiger swallowtail is probably my favorite butterfly. What's that orange one over there? That little guy is called a pearl crescent. Look at the color. It's, it's like a flash. Now this tall plant on the corner, I recognize that. That's butterfly bush. You like that plant? Yeah, it's a magnet for them, isn't it? It is, the butterflies really like it, especially the bigger ones. What they like about it is not only does it have lots of flowers with lots of nectar, but it gives them a nice stable landing pad so they feel safe. This one's called an American lady, and it's got a cousin that's a painted lady, and the difference is in the hind wing, you can sort of see two big spots. Its cousin, the painted lady, has four of them. Awesome color. Now, I wanted to show you around the edges here, we have asters. Yeah, I recognize that, and that's a native plant too. It is. And we've got it here. This is probably the last thing that blooms in our garden. It'll start blooming in September or October. Well, that covers a real hole when you won't have other flowers. Yes. Now, did you notice our funny little spot over here? That's sort of a little mud hole. This is our puddling area. This is where butterflies come to suck mud. To suck mud. To suck mud, because they can't get all the nutrition they need from just nectar, so they come here and get some minerals from the soil, but only if it's damp. I never would have guessed that. Mm -hmm. Now, you have a garden here that's totally dedicated to butterflies. We do, but if you have any kind of garden, no matter how big or small, and you put the right plants in it, you can get butterflies to come too.